Hey everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back. I am coming to you from the beautiful Portugal, feeling deeply inspired and deeply connected to my heart. And so I'd like to gift this practice to you. This is a slow, intentional yoga practice that has an emphasis on opening up the chest and the heart space and infusing our intention right into the heart. So you leave this practice feeling nourished, feeling more connected to yourself, feeling more aligned, more open. So get into something comfortable and let's get this practice started. Let's begin on our backs. So go ahead and lay yourself down. And we could start here on our backs, either with your legs straight out long, or you can bend your knees and have your feet as wide as the mat and let your knees fall in to touch. Hands could be on the belly or arms could be down by the side, palms up. Make your adjustments, get comfortable here in our beginning shape. Close down your eyes and let's invite in two deep cleansing breaths to clear the space and arrive here on our mats. So exhale your breath through your nose. Invite in a nice big inhale through the nose. Let your belly and chest fill up. And a big exhale, let it go through the mouth. All the air goes out. We'll do that one more time. Big inhale, biggest breath you've taken all day so far. Take life in. And exhale, let it go through your mouth, release. Let it go. Close your mouth. And now start to shift your breathing so it's natural and effortless in and out through the nose. So just allow your belly to soften. Allow your body to land here on your mat. Soften the energy behind your eyes. Soften your jaw. And just practice giving yourself the gift of this present moment. And just notice your breath. As you notice your breath, you notice that the breath acts as a bridge between the external and the internal. Starting to notice your belly rise each time that you inhale. And notice the belly soften each time that you exhale. And you start to feel this dance, the seamless transition between the inhalations and the exhalations. So you're making the breath smooth. And allow the breath to be silent here. Allow it to be deep. Allow the breath to be balanced. Allow the breath to be seamless. Inhale flowing into the exhale. And the exhale flowing into the inhale. Notice how you shift into this effortless, seamless breathing. Notice how that 
starts to shift the way that you're experiencing yourself. Just allow yourself to anchor into your breath and allow that anchor to be your guide throughout your practice. And with this anchored intention in the breath, start to bring your legs in towards your chest, interlace the fingers around your shins. belly continues to softly rise and fall as you use your biceps to draw the thighs in feeling a gentle compression in the hip flexors be still or if you'd like to sway from side to side you can do that if you're swaying come back to stillness and extend your arms out to the sides into a T. Palms can be up or palms can be down. We're gonna come into a dynamic twist. Bring your legs in towards tabletop, but legs are zipped together. Your belly pulls in. Imagine as if you have a seat belt across your lower abdomen, containing the core. Lower back stays imprinted on the mat. Keeping your shoulders on the ground. Take a breath in here. Legs together as you exhale, shift the unit of your legs over to the left any amount without lifting the right shoulder off of the mat. And then inhale, come back to center. Legs together, exhale over to the right any amount without lifting the left shoulder off of the mat. Inhale back to center. Exhale, legs over to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, this time come all the way over to the left. Roll onto your left side. Left hand can hold onto the right thigh. If your right palm is down, just flip the right palm up. Now drop into your abdominal breathing. Just pause here. Gently opening up the spine, the chest, the shoulder, inviting in some awareness into the core. And release your left hand back down. You can flip your palms back down, press into the ground, legs together, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, go over to the right, roll onto your right side. You take your right hand, hold onto your left thigh, flip the left palm up so you're externally rotating the left shoulder, abdominal breathing. And place your palms back down to the ground, pull the belly in, legs together, inhale, come back to center. And exhale, hug your knees in once again. Wrap your arms around your shins. Pause here, breath in and out. Good. Place your feet onto the mat, hip width distance apart, setting up for a dynamic bridge. Heels are close to your glutes. Palms are down by your side. So first, without the arms, you're gonna inhale, press into the feet. Gently engage your glutes, lift your hips up to a bridge. And then as you exhale, lower your hips down. Now we'll add in the arms nice and slow, sinking movement with breath. Inhale, lift your hips, lift your arms on two lines all the way up and back. Backs of the hands touch the ground behind you. And as you exhale, lower your hips, lower your arms like you're moving through water. A couple more times. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms. Slow inhalation, air travels all the way up into the chest, into the collarbones. And exhale, lower the hips, 
We'll lower the arms. And again, inhale, lift up. Weight is even on both sides of the legs. Stay lifted on your exhale. Just lower your arms down. Hips stay lifted. Palms down onto the ground. Continue to breathe. Pause in the shape. Stay here or interlace your fingers behind you, underneath your back. Walk the shoulders in. Press your forearms into the mat. Lift your hips. Find ease and stability here. Focus on your breath. As you breathe in, the belly expands. The breath rises up through the ribs into the chest, into the collarbones. As you exhale, the belly softens as you stay lifted. Continue like this with your breath. Intentionally inhaling into the chest and the collarbones, bringing some life into the heart space. Exhale, you soften. Stay lifted. Can you find ease here? If your hands are interlaced, release your hands, bring your shoulders back down. As you exhale, slowly lower your hips back down to the ground. When you get to the ground, release your glutes, pause for a moment, just feel that connection back on the mat. Bring your knees in towards your chest, and again, wrap your arms around your shins. We're gonna rock up or roll to one side and come up and meet me on all fours, tabletop position. Either crossing the ankles or coming around. Okay. So knees are hip width distance apart. We're gonna come into a puppy stretch so your hips stay stacked over your knees and just walk or slide your hands forward melting your forehead down towards the mat so you can place a block under the forehead if you'd like or place the elbows down if you'd like more support or press into the palms and activate the arms glide the shoulders down the back slight pull in of the belly and connect with your breath again as you breathe in you'll feel the breath travel up into the lungs the heart perhaps the collarbones the underarms and the exhale is that softening Good. Start to bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Pause here in tabletop for a moment. Bring your toes to touch, knees to come out wide, and bring your sit bones back to your heels. Gentle opening here in child's pose. Relax your chest and forehead down. Your sit bones are heavy towards your heels. Arms could be soft, elbows bent, or keep it active. Perhaps you'd like to come up on your fingertips, lifting your wrists and your elbows, gliding the shoulders down the back. Deep belly breaths here. You can be still if you'd like to rock or sway from side to side. You can try that. If you're rocking or swaying, come back to stillness. Shift forward back onto all fours. Bring your knees back underneath your hips. Slide the knees back a little bit. And let's come down onto our bellies and forearms. We're going to activate the core a little bit more deeply. Tops of feet are pressing down. So you're going to push your forearms into the ground. So instead of collapsing, you want to push and lift shoulders back. From here we inhale. As you exhale, tuck your chin in, pull the belly in, tuck your tailbone under and lift and tuck the hips, tuck, tuck, tuck and lift the hips, tuck, 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 tuck. And then slowly lower down, lower the hips as you inhale, bring your chest through, shoulders back, lift the gaze. A couple more times, deep core activation. 
exhale tuck your chin in pull the belly in tuck 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 the tail under lift tuck 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 you might feel some deep shaking here find ease lower down as you inhale bring the chest through lift the gaze and again exhale tuck your chin in pull the belly in tuck 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 lift slowly lower down inhale and then as you exhale wing out your elbows stack one palm on top of the other rest your forehead on the backs of the hands relax your legs be still here if you'd like to just give your hips a wiggle from side to side you can do that as well breathe deeply into your belly feel the belly expand into the earth into the ground and let it soften as you exhale good and now bring your hands by your upper chest elbows in shoulders loop onto the back inhale baby cobra lift your forehead chest shoulders back of the neck is long chin is in and exhale lower back down push up inhale through table and exhale sit back on your heels you can always bring a block here between the ankles for a little bit more support place your right hand down onto the ground beside you side stretch inhale left arm up and over Pause here for your exhale. Focus your eyes on one point. Root down through your left sit bone. Extend all the way through to your fingertips. Chest open, shoulder soft. Breathe into that left side. And inhale, both arms reach up. And exhale, left arm comes down, right arm up and over, root down through your right sit bone and follow that beautiful arch all the way across along to your right fingertips and beyond. Chest is open, breathe into that side that is exposed, the right side. Inhale, both arms reach up, lengthen the spine as you exhale lower your arms down and clear the space around you hands on the thighs we're going to come into breath of fire kapalabhati just to clear any stagnancy so there's short sharp exhales through the nose and the emphasis is on the exhale the inhale will come in on its own so shoulders back Maybe close your eyes or keep your eyes open. Inhale here. Full exhale here. Inhale three quarters of the breath. And then begin Kapalabhati. Exhale your breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Hold the breath in, hook the thumbs. Hold the breath in, slight pull in of the chin. Pull up the root and allow the breath and the energy to contain here in the heart. Nice and calm. And easefully exhale, lower your arms down, clear the space around you. Hands on your thighs, pause here. Breath in. Breath out. Kapalabhati one more time. Inhale three quarters of the breath. And begin. Exhale your breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Hold the breath in, hook the thumbs, pull them apart. Chin in, hold, pause, back of the neck long, find ease. 
slight lift of the root, pelvic floor, awareness in the heart. And when you're ready, you're gonna exhale, lower the arms down. Hands on the thighs, pause here. You can flip the palms up or palms down. Receive. Okay, if your eyes are closed, gently open the eyes. Come back onto all fours. Knees hip width distance apart. Tuck your toes underneath. Push up and back, downward facing dog. Reach your sit bones up and back. You can start to pedal out your legs. Bend one knee, bend the other. Just open up the backs of the legs. Drop in and anchor into your breath, in and out through the nose. If you're pedaling your feet out, just have, find some stillness. Your sit bones are reaching up and back, nice long spine, chest is open. Focus your eyes on one point that'll help to steady your mind. One breath at a time. Towards the end of your exhalation, bend your knees and then walk or step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to shins or quads, shoulders back, chin in, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root down with your feet to rise. Reach your arms up, all the way up. And exhale, arms down by your side, palms face forward, Tadasana Mountain Pose, shoulders back, eyes up along the horizon. Tailbone lengthens down, kneecaps lift. Shoulders back. Taking up space. As you inhale, reach the arms up overhead again. Tailbone continues to lengthen down as you exhale, bend the elbows. And as you do that, lift up and out of the waist, show your heart. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up. One more time, exhale, bend the elbows, lift up and out of the waist. Inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, a little bend in the knees, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, chin in. Exhale, fold. From here, we're gonna step back with the left leg, gently place the left knee down and come to lift the torso, right hand on your thigh. Drop the right hip down, low belly zips in, contain the core. You're gonna bring your left arm out in front of you, left palm faces in. You're gonna have the shoulder come forward and then loop it back and down, lock it in. So this left arm's gonna act like a lever. From here, keeping everything as it is, just move that left arm up and keep lengthening that tailbone down, right hip stays down and lift that left arm as much as you can. As your chest stays open, shoulders soft, eyes along the horizon and then focus on your breath smooth inhales and exhales as you breathe in just allow your awareness to travel into the chest into the heart up into the collarbones and then as you exhale the belly pulls back in so stay with that inhaling smoothly feel the breath travel and expand into the heart the chest as you exhale, belly softens. Steady here. Beautiful, lower that left arm down. And then bring your hands down onto the ground on either side of your right leg. Tuck the left toes under, power up the back leg. Take a breath in here, lengthen the spine, shoulders back. Exhale, bring your hips back and extend your right leg. Fold over your right leg. You can keep a little bend in your right knee if you'd like. Just that right hip is pulling back and just fold over the front leg. Shoulders out of the ears. Breathe into the belly. 
Now re-bend that right knee and gently step your left foot beside the right. Feet hip width distance apart, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, shoulders back, chin in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up to stand, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Pause here. Cycle of breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. A little bend in the knees. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen long spine. Exhale, forward fold. This time we step back with that right leg. Place that right knee down and lift your torso, hands on the thigh. Drop the left hip down. Low belly zips in. Contain, remember that seat belt. Right arm reaches out in front of you, palm facing in. Bring that shoulder forward and then bring it in. Loop it back, lock it in. This right arm is going to act as a lever. Maintain everything here as it is and then start to open up the lever. Right arm goes up, thumb back in space. Only as far as it feels all right, so there's no shifts here. Drop into your breath. Eyes along the horizon. Focus your eyes on one point that's going to help to create that container of stability as you flow with the breath, as you breathe in. Your awareness travels into the chest, into the heart, into the collarbones. As you exhale, the belly pulls back in. So stay present with this. Smooth breaths. Dancing with effort and ease. Slowly lower that right arm down. Be with whatever is there. Come down, frame your left foot. Tuck your right toes underneath, power up your back leg. And then extend the left leg. Fold over the left leg as your left hip draws back. Shoulders out of the ears and just breathe into your belly. Good, re-bend the left knee. Step your right foot beside the left, feet hip width distance apart, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, shoulders back, chin in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root down to rise, reach the arms up. And intentionally bring your hands together as you exhale. Samastitihi. Nourishing cycle of breath here. Inhale, reach the arms up, nice and tall. We'll take it down to the ground. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms and just step back to downward facing dog. Take a cleansing breath here. Inhale through the nose. And exhale out through the mouth. Lift your heels up nice and high as you inhale. And as you exhale, gently lower your hips, or your knees back down. And then bring your hips back to your heels. Again, if you want to sit up on a block, you can do that. We're going to prepare for camel ustrasana. It's getting deeper into the heart, opening up this, the body physically to allow for the space for our energy for our life force to flow. So you're going to stand on your knees. Knees are hip width distance apart. If you'd like, you can always bring a block between your inner thighs. Your tops of feet can be flat on the ground or you can tuck the toes under, see which one feels better for you. Bring your hands to your back, your low back, just above your glutes, palms facing down. As you do that, give your shoulders a loop up and back. So you're gently pushing the palms down, a little engagement of the glutes to stabilize the lower back. 
So take a breath in here, just to prepare and exhale. And then when you're ready, pushing down with the hands, it's, you're gonna, it's like you're almost pushing your hips forward, a little engagement of the glutes. Push the hands down, start to lift up and out rather than back. So you wanna maintain this elongation in the spine. And the shoulders are back, elbows drawing toward one another. You can keep it, the chin tucked in here or gently bring the head in line with the spine. Just don't let the head drop back. Breathe into the chest. So inhale sweetly into the heart space, into the collarbones. And exhale. And when you come up, imagine there's a string tied to your heart. Someone is pulling it up, inhale. Then as you exhale, sit back down on your heels. Backs of the hands on the thighs, palms up, shoulders back. Pause here, awareness drops into your heart space. Just allow yourself to receive. And you have the option to stay here or come into another round of camel. So if you're coming for another round, come to stand up on the knees and bring the hands to the glutes, just above the glutes. Prepare yourself, tailbone lengthens down. And when you're ready, start to lift up and out of the waist. Make sure there's no pain in your lower back. You don't need to go so f too far to actually feel the effects. So meet your edge, maintain the stability, and find your breath. Inhale, expanding into the heart. If you'd like, you can add a little soft pause or retention at the top of the inhalation. And then exhale. Maintain that deep sense of ease and calm. And when you're ready, you're gonna lift yourself up, inhale. Exhale, sit back, backs of the hands on the thighs, palms are up, shoulders down and back. Awareness drops right into the heart. And just receive, feel that expansion. Okay. Slowly open your eyes once again. You're gonna come on to your sit bones. Bring your legs out in front of you. Scoot yourself up enough on the mat so that there's space behind you and roll yourself down onto your back. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees open. You can tuck blocks underneath the backs of the thighs if you'd like for some more support. And then bring your hands onto your chest and start to tap onto your chest all around with your fingertips, either in one spot or randomly all around. And just breathe into your heart, into your chest. It doesn't have to be a familiar pattern, just tap randomly here. Just awakening the thymus gland, the heart space, clearing any stagnancy. Continue to breathe. Awakening here. Release the tapping, place one hand on your heart or both hands on your heart or one hand heart, one hand belly. Close your eyes. Breathe into the palms of your hands, actively letting love flow through your hands. Allow yourself to receive. I am enough. I am worthy. I receive my love.
Beautiful. Release your hands, gently close your legs. And we'll bring in a simple twist to integrate it all. Pull your right knee in towards the chest, left leg extends. Take your left hand to the outside of the right thigh and roll over onto your left side. Right arm opens out to the side, right palm is up. Simple twist, find a comfortable position for your head, for your neck, either looking the same way as your knee or look the opposite way for a full twist. Drop into your abdominal breath, soften the right shoulder. As you inhale, just invite in this sense of nourishment and vitality. And as you exhale, we invite in release and softening. back to center place both feet down onto the mat give your hips a little lift and lower back down to readjust to re-level bring your left knee in towards your chest your right leg extends long take your right hand to the outside of the left thigh roll over onto your right side simple twist left arm opens up palm is up find a comfortable position for your head for your neck maybe you close your eyes drop in abdominal breathing anchor into your breath Beautiful, come back to center. Place both feet down onto the mat. Lift your hips up slightly, lower them back down. And pull your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. And we'll pause here for a little bit of symmetry. Breathe deeply into your belly. Before we move into our closing with some intention setting into the heart, we'll come into a brief Shavasana just to rest and receive and to nourish and integrate. So take your legs out long as wide as the mat, maybe take up more space than you usually do. Arms down by your side, palms up. Let your ankles fall open. Maybe you lift your chest up a little bit. Gently tuck the shoulders under. Relax the back down. And let's take a big breath in through the nose. Breathe in. And a big exhale out through the mouth. Release. Let it go. All the air goes out. And gently close your mouth. Close down your eyes. Release any control or effort of your breath. And just allow your whole body to rest on the ground. There's nothing left here for you to do. Soften your jaw. Allow yourself to receive here. And just know that the more that you can soften and relax here, the more deeply you are held and supported.
what it feels like to be at home in the center of your multi-dimensional being. available to you. It's always there. It is your birthright. And slowly and gently begin your return by deepening your breath. And start to Bring some movement back to your body. Maybe you reach your arms up overhead for a nice big stretch. Reawakening here. Bring your knees in toward you. Give yourself a hug. Acknowledge your efforts for showing up for yourself in this way. For being with yourself in this way. to one side. Pause in this in-between space. Breathe into your upper back, the back of your heart. And then we'll start to make our way upright to a comfortable seat. Sit up tall on the block if you'd like. Just feel supported. Shoulders back, down and away, long spine, slight pull in of the chin so the back of the neck is long. And drop back into your breath, in and out through the nose. Effortless ease. Now you're gonna bring your palms to touch in front of you and gently start to rub the palms together. Start to create a little bit of heat here in between the hands. Keep your attention here between the hands. So once you've generated some heat, you're gonna still keep the attention and intention between the palms of the hands. You're gonna start to slowly separate the hands keep the awareness there between the hands slowly separate awareness in the hands you can feel this ball of energy between the palms of the hands you can feel this magnetic force here awareness between the hands awareness between the hands just feel that just explore with bringing the palms apart and a little closer together Stay present here, focus between the hands. Continue to breathe. Now from this place, in your heart, you're gonna infuse this ball of energy between your hands with an intention for yourself. Stay there between the hands. Perhaps you'd like to infuse that ball of energy with love, self-love. Whatever it is, calm, presence, nurturance, make it your own. Keep your awareness there. And with this ball of energy infused with your intention from your heart, Keep your awareness there. Slowly start to turn the palms in towards your chest. Draw your hands in. Bring this ball of energy right into your heart. Place your hands onto your chest, into your heart. Take a breath into your heart space. Breathe it in. As you exhale, allow it all to land and wash through your entire being. A couple more breaths here. Just allow yourself to receive. Wherever you are is perfect. You're exactly where you're meant to be. Can you find the gift in the present moment? Beautiful, bring your palm 
palms to touch in front of your heart space, light bowing of the chin. Acknowledge the teacher and the light that exists within you. Thank you for your trust and for sharing your practice with me from my heart, deeply from my heart to yours. Namaste.